PancakeSwap allows us to swap tokens and passive income by providing liquidity and even stake coins to earn rewards. And it's becoming ever more popular because of the fast transaction times and very competitive fees on Binance Smart Chain, which are way under a dollar. Hey guys, James here. In this video, I'll show you how to use all of the options and features in PancakeSwap, how to connect a wallet, and then go through and start swapping tokens and providing liquidity on the platform, including what you should expect to happen when you do so. If you wanna rewatch any section of this video, then see the timestamps in the description, and you'll also find some other helpful videos and resources in there as well. Firstly, we can come to PancakeSwap by going to pancakeswap.finance. That's the official webpage. But we can actually come down to the info right here. So we can click on info and then you can get an overview of all of the tokens and pools within PancakeSwap. Right now you can see the liquidity on the platform. So the trading volume over the last period and last few days and months, and then the liquidity on the platform as well. If we just come back to the pancakeswap.finance webpage though, we can go through really the three main areas on PancakeSwap. One is swapping tokens, one is yield farming, and then there are a couple of other options as well, including lottery. So you can see farms right here, you can earn an APR, so you can yield farm, you can also stake coins in pools, and then you can earn a return on that as well. And then there is a lottery, which is simply just a lottery where you go and buy some tickets and potentially earn some rewards. Firstly though, we wanna connect a wallet. So let's just come to the home and in the top right hand corner, you'll see this connect icon. So we can actually click on this and it gives us options for all of these wallets. I'm gonna be using MetaMask for this tutorial because it is a very widely used wallet and we can use it with a few different coins, but there is good wallet support as well. So if you have Trust Wallet, if you're a Binance customer, you may have downloaded Trust Wallet because Binance and Trust Wallet are part of the same company, but you also have Wallet Connect as well if you possibly have Coinbase Wallet and some others. What I'm gonna do then is just click on MetaMask and you can see that the MetaMask window pops up. Now, I'm already logged in with MetaMask. If you don't have a MetaMask wallet set up already, I do have a video going through the setup process from start to finish. I'll link that there if you need some help. I'm already set up on this browser though, so as you can see, it's a simple process, just clicking next. Then it will ask for some permissions. Obviously, it needs to view the addresses of your account so that it can transact with them. So just click connect and then you can see that's done within a second. In the top right hand corner, you'll now see that change from connect to the address of the MetaMask wallet that you just linked up. If you have different MetaMask wallets, you can obviously click on here and then go and log out and then log into different MetaMask wallets with different addresses. Next up though, we want to send some coins to our wallet and it's really important that we get this right because if you're using MetaMask with PancakeSwap, this does require a little bit of work. What I'm gonna do now then is go to my plugins and click on MetaMask to open up the wallet. And you can see that I'm actually using MetaMask as a Binance Smart Chain wallet. MetaMask is an Ethereum wallet overall, so you need to add Binance Smart Chain capability to MetaMask so that you can use Binance Smart Chain tokens, otherwise known as BET20 tokens. All tokens that you're gonna be using in PancakeSwap, including a Binance Coin, also Cake, which is the token of PancakeSwap, and all the others are BEP20 tokens. So if you're using MetaMask, you need to convert your MetaMask into compatibility for BEP20 tokens, Binance Smart Chain tokens. What I'm gonna do then is just come to the expanded view so we can click on here and click on expanded view, and I'm gonna very quickly go through this. I have an entire separate video that goes step by step showing you how to link up Binance Smart Chain to MetaMask. For this tutorial, I'm just gonna very quickly show you how to do it. You need to actually add Smart Chain, you can see here. Usually MetaMask is Ethereum mainnet, we want to add the Smart Chain. So what you can do to add a new network is to come to the icon in the top right and then go down to your settings right here. Then on the left hand side, click Networks and then you can add a network in. I've added Binance Smart Chain and these are the details that I've used. You can get these details off the Binance Academy website. But these are the details that I used when I added a new network. You can see you can add a new network up here. I put all of these details in, pressed OK, and then that network is added. Once that network is added to your wallet, you can see you can actually change between your different networks. So I can go to my Ethereum mainnet wallet, or I can go to my Smart Chain wallet. And this is the network that I'm using to support connections into PancakeSwap using the BEP20 tokens on the Binance Smart Chain but I wanna get some more Binance coins into my MetaMask. So I'm just gonna to come to my Binance trading account and you can see I'm gonna choose some BNB. So I'm just gonna type BNB in here. 
then I can click BNB. We have to go back to our MetaMask and make sure we have the address so we can come over to this icon right here. You can actually just copy it by clicking once, then that address is copied to your clipboard. You can then paste that into the recipient's address field here and it should come up without any warnings. So now we know that this is the correct address to send to. Really important here, don't use BEP2, that is the Binance chain. It's a different blockchain and we may lose our tokens. We need to use BEP20 tokens, Binance Smart Chain, you can see here. So click on this option. Then we can come down to the amount that you want to send. So I'm just gonna click max right here. You can see the transaction fee is 0 0.0005 BNB. And then just confirm the transaction as you normally would. That has hit my wallet, so now I have some more Binance coin in my MetaMask wallet that we can use in PancakeSwap. The next thing that you might want to do is add cake tokens to your MetaMask wallet. You'll need some cake tokens on PancakeSwap, and the way that we can do that is either by buying them in Binance and then doing that exact same transaction because they're BEP20 tokens as well, or you can actually use PancakeSwap itself to swap some tokens and trade some BNB for cake. We're gonna do that right now, so we go to exchange right here. You can see that we can exchange some BNB coin for another currency. What you wanna do first though is just add cake to your MetaMask, so you can't see it right here. Sometimes what happens is that you can add a currency and send a currency to your MetaMask, but it doesn't show up and a lot of people get worried about this. It might seem that you've lost your tokens, but you need to actually add the token into your MetaMask first. So come to a website like coingecko.com and then you can just go and search for cake tokens, which we're gonna do here, pancake swap, as you can see. So we can come down to the information and you can see the MetaMask icon right here and it says add to MetaMask. So I'm just gonna click that. You can see my MetaMask wallet comes up. Do you want to add this token? Yes, I do. So I'm gonna click add token. Then we can come back to my MetaMask right here. You can see cake is added. Now, if you send any tokens to your MetaMask, it will show up as a balance against this token. First then, let's go to PancakeSwap and go to Exchange. I wanna exchange some tokens. So what we can do is connect our wallet once more. Sometimes it does disconnect, so we can go to Connect, MetaMask right here, go to Next, and then click Connect. And that is connected for you. We can now see that the amount of tokens we have in our wallet is shown here right in PancakeSwap. I'm gonna to choose to swap 0.1 BNB and then I'm gonna choose the currency I want to swap it to and I'm going to swap it into cake. Now what happens when we come to exchange is that you can see all the details of the swap. And remember, PancakeSwap is a decentralized exchange, not a centralized exchange. And so we are swapping tokens and not trading tokens. This is very different. There is not a seller on the other end. We are not buying cake. We're actually swapping the tokens in a liquidity pool. So the trade is a little bit different, but of course it's more or less the same in terms of fees and everything. So we can actually see we're paying a 0 0.0002 BNB fee to the liquidity provider. If we provide liquidity, which we're gonna do in a second, we earn this fee, which is great for us. But when you want to exchange tokens, you have to pay that fee. You can also see the price impact. This is the impact that you're having on the liquidity pool. If you're trading large amounts of tokens, you're gonna have a much larger impact on the pool, which could affect the price that you get for your swap negatively. The smaller the transaction, the less impact you have on the pool and the less likely that you are to get a bad price and a bad deal for your trade. We can also see the minimum amount received. Remember, we're swapping in a pool, and so when we hit that swap, we can't be guaranteed a price. It will change and can change as the transaction goes through, but there's less chance of that the smaller that your transaction is. If you're trading larger amounts, you can actually come up to the setting tabs right here and set some slippage tolerances. Just like on other DEXs like Uniswap, you can set a tolerance slippage, and the lower your tolerance, the less leeway the system has to actually get the swap done. I'm not gonna change anything here because Binance Smart Chain runs quite efficiently, so we don't really need to change anything, especially for a small trade like this. I'm happy with all of these details, so I'm just gonna come down and click swap like this. Then it is going to give you all of the details once more. You can see how much cake you're getting, and then you can go through and confirm the swap right here. It's gonna go through to your MetaMask. You can see those details. Just click confirm once more. Then you can go and view that transaction on the Binance Smart Chain if you wish. You can click this. So this is the transaction that should go through. And MetaMask has just confirmed that transaction so I can come back to the MetaMask. You can see straight away it's happened. I've sold some of those BNB and I now have a holding of the cake tokens right here. So we can just close this right now. And then if you want, you can go through and trade again. Next up though, what we can do with the tokens that we have, now we have two tokens, is actually provide liquidity to a liquidity pool and we can get those fees that we just paid for swapping. 
To provide liquidity in a pool, we can come over to liquidity right here, but you do need two tokens. You cannot do it with one token because you need to provide both tokens into the pool so that people can swap them. We can come down and click on add liquidity right here. Now we have to add two tokens into the liquidity pool. Each pool has two tokens, so we can use BNB and then we can also select a secondary currency, which is going to be cake. You can see I've got two holdings here, so I'm just gonna click cake like this. You have to add them in the proportion that they are in the pool already, and you don't have to work this out. You can just choose max like this with cake, and it will work out how many BNB that you need to actually match up with your cake tokens, so you're putting them into the pool in the right ratio. You can see for right now, 0.099 BNB and then 2.25 cake is the right ratio to go into the pool. This is a small transaction, so I have less than 0.01% share of the pool. The larger the share of the pool that you have, the more you will move prices within it. So just keep that in mind. And then you can see LP tokens in your wallet. I've got these here. We can go through and approve cake right now. So click on approve cake once more. What we have to do in this instance is actually just approve the connection between PancakeSwap and our wallet. This is a transaction fee that we need to pay. So we're gonna to have to pay this first. Make sure that you have some extra BNB in your wallet to pay this. I'm gonna click on confirm. You can see that right here. You have to approve it first. And now you can see that the box has changed to supply. So make sure that you go through and approve that and pay that very small transaction charge first. Then you can go through and supply it. So I'm just gonna hit supply right now. We can see the amount of BNB deposited, the amount of cake that we need, and the share of the pool overall. So I'm gonna click confirm supply once more. It's gonna then go through to my wallet again, just confirm this transaction. You can once more go and view this transaction on BSC scan if you like. I'm not gonna do that this time though. You can see it just flip through once the transaction went through. So I'm just gonna click close right now. Now, when we earn fees from other people swapping coins that we've provided for liquidity purposes, we get something called LP tokens or liquidity provider tokens. These are essentially our fees that we get and we can redeem these at any time we like. Also, if you want to redeem both your cake and BNB from the pool, you can also do that at any time. Just be aware that you may get back a different amount of each token than you actually put in because as people swap tokens in pools, if one token becomes relatively more expensive, then obviously the amount in the pool will change in relation to the other token. What you'll see down at the bottom, once you have put both of those coins in the liquidity pool for a certain time, is that you'll be starting to earn LP tokens. You can see right down here that this liquidity pool, the BNB cake liquidity pool, you're actually earning some LP tokens right now. So we've already got 0.4161 LP tokens, but we can do more with LP tokens as well. We can actually yield farm the tokens. So let's come over to farms right here. We can click on farms and we can start to use our LP tokens and actually get extra income from them. Remember that we've got BNB cake LP tokens or cake BNB LP tokens as they're known here. This is a yield farm. You can see farms right here. So I'm gonna click on this currency pair. We're gonna to have to connect our MetaMask wallet once more, make sure that it's connected up in the top right and then click on enable here. So you have to enable it once more. This is a small transaction. Right now it's 17 cents. So I'm just gonna go ahead and confirm that and make sure that we enable that. So you can see stake LP right here. I'm then gonna go through and stake LP tokens. Click on max right here and you can see that the LP tokens we earned, the 0.4161 is actually there for us. We can then go and click confirm like this to stake our LP tokens. Once more, we have to confirm it in MetaMask. So I'll just go through and confirm that right now. And that's gone through and you can see that here. I'm actually staking my LP tokens now. So I earn a reward in LP tokens for providing liquidity in the pools. And then those LP tokens, I've gone and staked them as well to earn extra rewards. Once you do have rewards coming in, they'll be in this cake earned section. And if there is an amount here, you can harvest those and then they'll go through to your MetaMask wallet. And we can see that the APR right now is 72%. So you're gonna be earning an annual yield of around 72.7%. It does change regularly, but that's quite a good interest rate for this liquidity pair at the moment. Next up, we're gonna look at pools though. So this is farms and then we're gonna go over to pools. This is slightly different. In farms, you can only stake liquidity provider tokens that you get from providing that liquidity. In syrup pools, it's slightly different. You can actually use a range of tokens, essentially stake them and then earn some rewards from it. So very easy, we can go through and uh, put some cake in the pool and you can see the APR right now is actually higher than the farms. It's currently sitting at 98% annual yield. We can go through and approve cake if you like. So approve that once more. You can confirm that transaction. I'm gonna do that right now. Again, you have to pay that 17 cents. 
but definitely not a big deal. And that has been approved in my MetaMask. And then you can see you can add some here. So you can actually press plus. And if you have any cake tokens left, which I don't, you can just put them in there, press confirm. And this is basically like staking tokens. So just press confirm. And then those cake tokens will be locked up for you. And they'll be starting to earn that at the moment, a 98% yield. If you want to go through and get some other tokens, you can either go through to Binance and try and buy some of these tokens, a hacker pool, CGG pool, and some more down here. Or you can actually use other tokens like Binance coin and cake pool to actually go to the trading option and try and swap them to get some of these tokens. You can see some of the APRs uh, are actually higher than the cake pool, although the cake pool is the most popular. Also just to note that the APR on these tokens is very good, but obviously these tokens have a value that can change daily in the market, can go up, can go down. So you have to take that into account, not just the APR, but also the price change of the token over time. Next up, I'm gonna to touch on the lottery. So we're gonna go through to lottery. Now, I think it's every six hours or so, you'll actually get a new lottery. So you can purchase tickets with cake, you have to go through and press approve cake to approve the connection with your MetaMask wallet. So again, that will be around 17 cents. And then you can actually view your tickets and purchase tickets. If you actually match the latest lottery numbers, there's only four numbers. If you match all four, you get a big prize. If you match three or two, then you can get smaller prizes. And then if you don't match any, then those tokens will actually be burned, which means those tokens will be taken off the market, which actually is deflationary to cake overall, which is part of the reason why they win this lottery. This is essentially gambling and just playing a lottery. There's no investment here or APRs, but you can take part if that's something that you're interested in. If you play the lottery as well, you might have a chance to win some collectibles, otherwise known as NFTs. And a lot of lottery prizes are these NFTs. You can do what you want with them. You can either keep them or trade them and sell them for cake as well. So if you do have any of those NFTs, they'll be put into your MetaMask wallet if you go through and actually win some of these lottery prizes. You can check the time scale for when the next lottery is to see if you want to play it nearer the time when the draws happen. If you're into crypto yield farming and getting passive income from your cryptos, then you can get $40 of free Bitcoin when you download Celsius Wallet. I use Celsius Wallet to earn passive income on my Bitcoin and other cryptos. And you can get $40 of free BTC when you sign up with my code. I'll leave that in the description as well. Make sure to subscribe for daily helpful crypto content and I'll see you in the next one.